Hey guys, it's LEGO Boy Z3. Today I'm going to show you how to put magnets into almost any speed cube. So today I'm going to be showing you how to take a cube like the Valkyr that has a three-part corner design and a two-part edge design, which I'll explain in a second, and put magnets in it to make it magnetized like this. And so this will work with a lot of popular speed cubes like the Valkyr. I'm actually going to be doing it on a Zanchi, just kind of for fun, but this also has the same kind of three-part corner design as the Valk. So what you will need is 48 magnets like this. I am using N35 2x4mm ones, which I'll link in the description below. This is what I've used in all the cubes that I've magnetized. You'll need some super glue. You want to get the liquid stuff as opposed to the gel stuff because it works a lot better. And of course, you'll need a cube with a three-part corner design. This will not work on every cube. For example, the Waylong GTS has like kind of caps that come outwards. And it's not exactly the same thing, but the concept is still pretty similar in those. And also something like a Guanlong, a really cheap speed cube that has two-part edges and corners. They just are capped kind of in the inside. Those won't work with this method, but I do have a video for those. But anyway, we can go ahead and get started. Let's just take apart the cube here. You should definitely know how to do this if you are magnetizing a cube. And so you can see here that these edges come apart in two parts, which means that it's a two-part design, just like I want it to be. And then these corners here also come apart like that. It's a little bit tricky, but you see it'll come apart in just three equal parts, just like this. This is the kind of cube I'm going to be showing you how to work with today. It's kind of the same thing with the Valk. Uh, it's a little bit harder to get the edge pieces apart sometimes. Just make sure you're pulling the entire thing apart at once like not pulling it out at an angle like that because that will break the piece for sure you just want to make sure it's all even and coming out straight all around the entire thing and then it will pop open like this and this is what the magnets will look like you'll just put one on every half of a piece and also one on every part of a corner piece and also if you're opening the corner piece of a Valk, be very careful because they are very fragile but what you want to do is get something like a flat blade screwdriver or just something like this and pry off this little cap on the end of the centerpiece and then from here, you can push in those little tabs that are holding this part in, and then you can take this whole corner part off and then separate it into three pieces. Anyway, back to the Zanchi here. Again, it will work exactly the same from this point onwards. You just need to make sure that you're putting the magnets in correctly from this point. So what you want to do is just take apart all of the edges and corners. And I'll just separate the corners over here, edges over here, and I'll put an extra pile for the torpedoes, which aren't in a lot of modern speed cubes, but they're in this cube. Okay, and so now we can put the torpedoes away and the core away. And so the main thing that people worry about when they're making a magnetic cube is the polarity of the magnets. Now this doesn't actually really matter at all if you do it correctly, but just make sure you follow along. So what you want to do is first take two magnets just like this, and you want to put one of them inside of an edge piece, and then one of them inside of a corner piece. And so what you want to do is line them up so that it just kind of goes together right between the pieces like this. So in most cases, you want it to be completely flat, just kind of like on a flat surface uh, with nothing really around it, just kind of right next to each other. And generally, you'll want it kind of closer to the outside of the cube. It doesn't really matter if it's closer inwards, but it will affect the force a little bit. This is kind of just the placement where I would normally do it. And so what you want to do is kind of set it down on a table like this and make sure that it is completely flat. Make sure it's exactly like it would be if it were assembled in a puzzle like this. And now what you want to do is get out your super glue and then glue on just one of the sides just like this. So you just want to get a little bit of super glue and just put it right in between where the magnet is and where the piece is. Now after waiting a good 10 or 20 seconds or so, I usually do it not even that long, uh, what you want to do is kind of make sure everything's lined up, make sure the magnets are perfectly aligned with each other inside of there, and make sure the pieces are perfectly lined up. And now what you can do is glue the other magnet on. Now this is our first pair of pieces, and this is what we're going to be basing every single one of the other pieces on. And so what I'm going to do is just take these apart, I'm going to set this one off to the side for now, and I'm going to use this corner. You can also start with the edge piece, it doesn't really matter. But now what we're going to do is we're just going to put one magnet into every single piece. So using this one that we've already done as a template, we're just going to put a magnet there, line up everything, and put the glue in, just like we did earlier. After that one's dried, you can kind of set it off to here, and we won't need it anymore and then we can bring the next one up and do it again. Again, one magnet in every piece. Don't do two magnets. That will totally mess everything up. And yeah, we just keep going with all the edges from here. And there we go. That is the last one. And so now what we can do is put this corner piece aside because we don't really need it anymore. Just put that up next to the rest of them. And now I'm going to take out this original edge piece that I first glued. If you don't know which one it is, that's fine. You can just take one of these. That looks all right. But what I'm going to do now is do the same thing that I just did with all those edges with the corner pieces. So I'm going to put a corner piece next to it, stick a magnet on, and then glue that into place. Just exactly the same, and I just do that with all the pieces. And there we go, there's the last one of those, and so now we can put the edge over here, corner piece over here, and now it is time to go and reassemble the puzzle. 
So what we can do is uh, make sure that you're putting the right pieces together. So like a red and a blue here. Do just the right colors, make sure you have one of every piece. And as long as you don't make the mistake that I just made, you should be fine. And now we can just assemble the puzzle like normal, just like this. Edge piece, edge piece, corner piece, edge piece. And there we go, that is basically how you do it. So now I can solve it here, and then I can just get on with using my cube. And these magnets actually aren't that strong in a Sanchi, that's pretty surprising. Uh, if you want to see my full reaction to making a uh, Sanchi and the full time lapse, everything like that, go ahead and check out my video that I made recently on it. Make sure you twist the corner into place like that. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video, this quick tutorial. I'm not going to try and fix that parody right now. But that is how you put magnets in a speed cube like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!